So you got your new Elgato Wave microphone and you need a little help setting it up. Pretty sure you've already downloaded the software. You messed with it a few times. You looked up a couple videos trying to figure out, you know, what goes where and how it goes into OBS or XSplit or anything, you know, whatever you're using for your you know, recording software. Well, today, guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that and plug it in with your OBS as well as be able to monitor and manipulate any of the mixes and sounds that you may need to. Let's hop on into it. All right, guys, so by now you should already have the software downloaded and put up and are ready to roll. So if you guys don't have the software, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Please go ahead and download that. Pause the video here. Come back once it's downloaded and we'll get everything going again. Now, with this particular software, you see that it already has my microphone set up. So once you open the software, it's going to have that automatically because you only have the Wave 1 or 3. So, of course, it's going to know this is the microphone that we're looking for because you can't use the software with any other mic. Only the Wave uh, microphone. So, mine of course is the Wave 1, it's already set up. Now, with that being said, within here of course you can adjust your levels. You hit this little drop down box here, it lets you, uh, you know, adjust your gain, also your vol out output volume. Now for mine, because I do have the one, this output volume really is for the output that goes into the back of the microphone, which is for you to plug a 3.5 millimeter jack into so you can monitor with low latency directly from your mic. Uh, so of course now with that I don't use that because personally I just go through and just kind of monitor it from the software itself Now the wave 3 you do have different options There are three different categories with, with on the mic itself To where you actually push the button on the front of the mic and it switches between each and then you can turn the dial To go through and adjust how you see fit Now from here of course down here with the PC and mic mix you can actually go in between the two of what you hear from your PC itself as far as you know the sounds that you may have coming to you and your mic to kind of if you want to do like a constant monitor on your mic which some people do I don't just personally uh, but of course from here uh, once you slide this bar you can take it all the way down to the microphone to where you hear nothing but the mic or you can slide it up a little bit and get a little bit of the PC sounds mixed in with your mic as well also one of the most awesome things that they could have added is clip guard so no matter how loud you get uh, the, as far as like you hear that break and you peek out that keeps that from happening also with an enhanced low cut filter that keeps some of the background noise out of the microphone as well while you're speaking into it uh, which of course is why I have my microphone right here almost directly beside me um, not right up in my face but close enough for you to hear me clearly without me having to throw a lot of gain on it and everything as well uh, I did have it further back from me and I noticed that the game was really uh, you know it would pick up a lot more sounds so I moved my mic of course to bring it closer to me so I could lower the gain and be able to get, convey my voice over my mic the way that uh, you know I feel that it should be coming across to you guys now enough about the mic let's go ahead and talk about the software a little bit as well uh, a little bit more in depth as far as uh, how to add and remove uh, different inputs and of course how to adjust the volumes for each input now as I was explaining to you not only can you mute yourself for your headphones for you using the mic you can do that for each individual input now you can not you not only can just mute it from yourself but you can mute it from your stream as well so if there's something that you want to hear but you don't want your stream to hear or you just don't want it to play through to your stream because your stream may not want to hear it I don't know <laughs> you just can mute that too uh, you just hit that button right there uh, click on it and it has a line that goes through it and it shows you that it was muted from your stream now same vice versa for your headphones same ordeal now your volume adjustments of course are separate now way, one way that you can actually link them together is of course to click in these two brackets here it throws a line into it and lets you know that they are linked so whenever you move these up and down whichever way you move it both move at the same level now I don't suggest that because what may seem comfortable to you may not be comfortable for your stream or you may even like if it's already lower than what yours is coming to your headphones then your stream may hear it way lower than you do and it may you know may not sound too good for them as well so just a few different preferences there that's a personal preference thing that's something for you guys to mess with for yourself now 
as far as to add e each individual input, what you would do is, of course, you hit the plus sign in the middle of the input section. Once you go into the input, you pick which one you want. Of course, if you don't have any more of these open, you can pick whichever one you would like. And then, of course, from there, you just add it and it pops up. And then, of course, you adjust the levels accordingly. Now, the way that you actually go through and set each individual input up to a specific software or, you know, whatever you got sound coming through, you click the three lines right here next to the cog. Once you open it up, it directly brings you to your app volume and device preference tab. Now, within here, of course, uh, you want to search for the application that you want to use on that particular input. This one, of course, for me is my Discord, which typically it would say voice chat. I did rename it to Discord so I know what it is. Now, within this software here, as far as the app and uh, volume device preference, you want to find Discord, which will be here for me. You click the drop down box, and of course, you would click Wavelink Voice Chat. Now, once you have Voice Chat in there, you click out of it, and of course, for the input, you would want your microphone so mic in is Elgato Wave 1 that's already in there you close it out and then of course everything is set up now for discord as I said you know if you're in there talking with someone and your buddy says hey I got something to tell you um, can you mute you know mute me out of discord or anything like that uh, all you do is click here boom they're muted nobody can hear them on stream and then you're good to go and then of course if you don't want your stream to hear discord at all in general you can do that as well now same thing with your game game sound you'll open your game which i have none open at the moment but once you open your game you'll come down here into your uh, app and volume device preference click on whatever game it is hit the drop down box wavelength game of course for the microphone is going to be your wave uh, wave mic click the wave mic and then from there you just go on about your day now of course with these softwares of course or inputs i'm sorry within the software you can adjust like i said accordingly uh, for how you want the game how loud you want it to be and of course how loud you want it to convey out to your stream uh, and then of course for music one of the most like this is awesome i love it i've, I've just it's awesome i like it so much um, whenever I'm listening to music, of course, if I want to, if I'm playing a game like Valorant and I'm playing ranked or I'm playing COD or some type of shooter or anything like that where I want to hear the game and I don't want to hear my music, but I don't want to cut you guys off from the music because, you know, you guys might be vibing out to it and enjoying it yourself. I can just cut my cell phone right on out, click the mute button on my headphones. I can no longer hear the music, but you guys can, which is so awesome for me. I mean, I love it. Um, now, as far as everything here goes, that's really the gist of it. Uh, there's no, it's not as complex as what it would look like um, now of course for your monitor mix you, you pick and choose whichever monitor you know whatever you want your monitor audio to go out to I have mine set for my speakers because I have it set to where I can monitor and listen to my speakers and my headphones at the same time which I like that for when I am playing music and I take a break or something or you know I can just kind of hear the music play or whatnot um, and do what I'm doing or when I'm offline and not streaming. Now, one of the things I do want to show you as well is how to add it to OBS. All right, so as far as adding it to OBS, it's very simple. You pull up your settings tab. Of course, once you pull up your settings tab, you're going to go to audio. And once you're in audio, you're going to go to your mic auxiliary ports. Now, one thing I do just want to point out to you guys right here, I did set it up as its own tab for just the microphone itself. I wanted to put a noise gate on it. I just had a lot of background noise and I just, instead of trying to figure it out, I was ready to go live and just did, did it that way. Uh, now that I've actually you know messed with everything and got it set to where I want it, I honestly don't have to do this any longer. What I can do is go in and shut my mic off within OBS uh, and then let it come through the wavelength, which right now I have it muted on this tab. So I could actually just really disable this. Don't need it. So showing you that to show you this as well when you do open up your audio tab for your uh, wavelength software you're going to open the tab here and go to wavelength stream and then of course it's going to say i've got a wave whichever version you have one or three and of course from there you're just going to hit apply okay and then of course your mic goes through so now that being said you can still set the mic up as its own microphone so i can show you that here as well just go in here to your audio tab, go to your mic auxiliary, 
look for your mic in Elgato Wave 1, which is mine, right here. Hit apply, hit OK. Now if I mute you out here, you can still hear me in OBS. Now I know you still see the, the it's moving here as far as the monitoring through the software for the Wavelink software. But the thing is, is if you look here, I have it muted to headphones and muted to stream output. So you're not hearing it through this. You're actually hearing me through OBS software itself. So that is a cool thing. That is actually awesome. Um, let's mute here. Open up here so you guys can still hear me. So now you're hearing me through the Wavelink software. So it's that simple. You can do it either way. Personal preference, it's up to you. And you know that's pretty much it. So of course we've gone through everything as far as setting each individual tab up, going through your app and volume device preferences, and picking which device you want to go to which input. From there, it's your personal preference. You can go through, uh, do like I did, have people that are in your stream, you know, go off of their outlook on it and say, hey, how do you guys like this? Is this level comfortable for you? Or you could just go live and if somebody says, hey, something's kind of too loud, you can adjust as, as you need to and keep it moving from there. Uh, other than that, guys, I definitely want to thank you guys for coming out and checking the video out. It's very simple to use. Uh, it looks a little more complex than what you think it is once you get in and start maneuvering, uh, you know, all the different inputs and everything and learning how to, you know, put them in and take them out. Um, one thing I didn't didn't go over, which, you know, is, is totally, it's kind of self-explanatory, but if you want to remove an input, of course, you just click on the drop down, hit remove input, and it takes it out. So you can remove it totally from the software and you don't have to worry about it. Other than that, guys, like I said, thank you guys for coming out. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Now, I do go live on Twitch Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And, of course, you can also see my schedule on my Twitch page and on my Twitter, which I will leave links to my social medias as well down below. And see you guys then. Hopefully, you guys will come through and just say hey and hang out with me for a little bit. Other than that, guys, I want you guys to have a fantastic day. Definitely appreciate the love and support. And as always, guys, it's your boy DeVille. It's been real. I'm out. Peace.